a legend is sung of where England was young. And knights were brave and bold, the good king had died. And no one could decide who was rightful heir to the throne. It seemed that the land would be torn by war or saved by a miracle alone, and that miracle appeared in London town. The sword in the stuo o one. And below the hilt and letters of gold were written these words. Whoso pulleth out this sword of this stone and anvil is likewise king born of England, though many tried for the the sword with all their strength, none could move the sword nor stir it. Then the miracle had not worked and England was yet without a word, and in time, the marvellous sword was was forgotten. This was a dark age, without law and without order. Men lived in fear of one another for the strong preyed upon the weak. A dark age indeed. Age of inconvenience. No plumbing, no electricity, no nothing. Why? Oh, han it all. Han it all. Oh, you you fiends chain, you! And everything complicated. One big medieval mess. He should be here in, I'd say half an hour. Who? Who? I'd like to know who. I warned you, Archimedes, I'm not sure. All I know is that someone will be coming. Someone very reluctant. Oh, pin feathers. Fate will direct him to me where that I, in turn, may guide him to his rightful place in the world. Huh. And and you say he will arrive in half an hour? And you will, Archimedes. You will. Oh. He'll be, oh, a boy. Small boy. Eleven, twelve years old. And a scrawny little fellow. Oh, dear, oh, dear, that can't be the one. Surely not why that big lad must be unclose unto twenty. Ah. Uh, there he is. A scrawny little fellow about twelve. He's a regular little grasshopper. Look at him go. Ha 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 And where, where would you guess he is at this very moment? I'm not guessing, Archimedes. I know where he is. Oh less than a mile from here just beyond the forest. And right on schedule, if it all goes well. Quiet, what? I'm trying to be. And nobody asked you to come along in the first place. I'm not even moving. Shut up. Aha. Here we go. Oh, what a setup. Right smack through the old gizzard. Why, uh, uh. Why, you clumsy little fool. Oh, okay. Please, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it, please. If I ever, if I ever get my hands on, on you, I'll wring your scrawny little neck, then help me, I will. I'll get the arrow, okay? I'm sure I can find it. Don't warn me you're going in there. Why, it's swarming with wolves. I'm not afraid. Well, go ahead. It's your skin, not mine. Go ahead, go ahead. There it is. Oh, there it is. Why? Well, then, you, you did drop in for tea after all. Oh, you are a bit late, you know. Oh, I, I am. And my name is Merlin. Come, come, who are you, my lad? Oh, my name's Arthur, but everyone calls me Ward. Oh. Oh, what a perfect stuffed owl. Stuffed? Well, I, I beg your pardon. He's alive, and he speaks. And certainly a great deal better than you do so. Oh, come, Archimedes. Come, come now. I want you to meet the ward. Now, you must forgive him. He's only a boy. Boy? Boy. Well, I see no boy. How did you know that I was? Oh, th that you would be dropping in. Well, I happen to be a wizard. A soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. Centuries into the future. I've even been there, lad, and I've seen all these facts. They're only plans and small models, of course, you know. Now, that won't be invented for hundreds of years. Oh, you mean you can see everything before it happens? Yes, everything. I, ah, uh, I admit I didn't know whom to expect for tea. But as you can see, I figured the exact place. 
You're very clever, sir. Yes. Well, never mind the, the, the sir. Just, ah, uh, plain Merlin will do so. Now, then, would you care for sugar? Oh, yes, I would, please.